Markets fell for a second straight session, tracking sell-offs in global markets as investors were concerned over inflation and economic uncertainties. Sensex closing 500 points lower to end at 53,886, Nifty holding on to 16,000. The index was down 158 points though. Financials, IT shares, some of the biggest drags. Aicha reverse Monday's gain to end at the top uh, of the loser chart. Other uh, blue chip laggards were Hindalco, Infosys, BPCL and Grasim. On the upside, NTPC, Coal India, Shri Cement, Bharti Airtel and Bajaj Finance were the only gainers. Meanwhile, prices of steel, aluminium, zinc and other metals hit multi-month lows as uh, the commodity sell-off continues. Precious metals are not spared either with gold hitting 9-month low and silver hitting a 23-month low. Business Today is back with its masterclass on navigating the business world in the post-pandemic era. This time, we bring you the globally renowned management guru, Professor Sri Kandatar, Dean of the Harvard Business School. The Unmissable Masterclass gives you a deeper understanding of the new trends in management and innovation. As someone who serves on the board of some of the world's largest companies, Professor Datar draws on his vast experience to guide Indian executives on global trends in business. Here's a short excerpt of his Masterclass. How you think key management practices are changing? What are the big trends that you're noticing in management practices in the post-pandemic world? So I'd say the several things that happened and uh, I was sort of fortunate that I started my term as uh, dean right around the time, so uh, it's in the middle of the pandemic and in the middle of an academic, academic year and no, I, I would not recommend that for anyone uh, to be becoming dean because uh, 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 each of those has some challenges. But what is incredible is the amount of opportunity that that uh, creates as well. So I spoke to nearly about a thousand individuals, uh, went on a listening tour for a, nearly about four or five months. And uh, there were three things that emerged as big topics that uh, uh, people were saying are important trends that are uh, coming. One was uh, the focus on digital data work. and. I would say that at some level, the pandemic accelerated by years the speed at which companies are now engaging in that uh, work. We can talk more about that. So that was one uh, major uh, learning. A second was, and I've always been a vocal proponent of the fact that uh, business is a force for good in the world. If you look at the number of people that have been lifted out of poverty, if you look about the products and services that we have created as, uh, as business individuals, if you look at the kinds of jobs that we've uh, had, it's been an enormous force for good. But right around this time, one looks at the challenges in the world and yes, one will always look to governments to uh, play a role, but there are some amazing opportunities that come from those challenges. And so the idea of this, how should business begin to think about its role in society uh, was a second big thing that happened. And remember, this is in the middle of uh, the pandemic where there's a health crisis, there's a social crisis, there's an economic crisis. So people are, were looking for what's, uh, what role can business play. And the third, of course, is the major trend that occurred in terms of uh, uh, the future of work. And of course, as in all countries, the great uh, reset, some call it, great resignation, others call it. Uh, how exactly should we be thinking about uh, the way in which we would engage uh, individuals inside organizations? So those were the three, I think, big trends that certainly I saw uh, in my first few months.